Hello, welcome to another episode. I don't know if I want to call this an episode because it's going to be very brief. Um, I'm Sarah E. and I struggle with mental health issues and with social issues in the world. Yes, social issues, political issues do affect my mental health and deservedly so. The trick is we need to learn how to, I need to learn how to regulate my emotions and cope with my mental symptoms when I am dealing with the world around me, especially dealing with matters around disability benefits. Mental illness is a disability. I will say that. You can look it up if you don't believe me. I have looked it up. It is a disability. It is a hidden disability. Many of us appear normal unless we have, we're having an episode. And when we're having an episode, many of us don't want to deal with us they think we're, we're either lazy or we're doing it on purpose. Not true. Okay, that out of the way. I will discuss a question that keeps on being asked every time the federal government says they're having a crisis with uh, money. <sighs> Often the media or others will be asking questions. What's going to happen to Social Security benefits if there's a government shutdown? Um, if there's a debt ceiling crisis, as there was back in May and June this summer, um, as they're talking about again, belly aching about it again, uh, we're going to have another shutdown in October. Uh, this may affect Social Security benefits. What I don't like right now is how some media is saying, scaring the you-know-what out of us, out of senior citizens and disabled people and recipients of benefits, Medi-Cal, Medicare, Medicaid, Medicare, and Social Security, saying this may stop. Um, indirectly, it may affect things. I have done research. You can look it up, too, if you want. And I suggest that the media looks it up as well, instead of asking questions like this publicly and scaring us. Don't bring it up unless you know for sure that it's going to happen. Because you're scaring the shit out of us, you guys. Either reassure us or shut up. I'm serious. If there really is a problem, we shall rally and fight it. The Social Security Act was made in the 30s. And um, workers had a general strike in Minneapolis. Because... Uh, they weren't getting enough to eat and not getting enough pay. And disabled people who couldn't work, you know, that's for us too. Disabled people who couldn't work since they were five years old even, for God's sake, SSI. That's for people that, 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 that never could work. And uh, survivor benefits, such as my own survivor benefits, um, that's what people ask me. That's why I don't even bring it up with people. Unless it's a political issue. Oh, why are you on Social Security, Sarah? You haven't worked a job. You know, and you're not a senior citizen. You know, what, what are you doing on, on, on your benefits? You know, I think there should summarily never be a question asked ever again about, about human needs being met. Not everybody can work, God damn it. Not everybody has been able to work since the day they were born. There are unwanted children, unplanned children on this planet. There have been unwanted, unplanned children on this planet. Because people haven't even had responsible sex, God damn it. People have not practiced contraceptives, or they haven't remained abstinent when, uh, when they don't believe in contraceptives, and when contraceptives aren't available. You know? My opinion, everyone. My conjecture. I know. But it's just really making me mad that we live on a planet that, that, that fucks around like rabbits and doesn't take care of problems, doesn't meet people's needs. And then we bitch about, and then, then the government and the politicians, the GOP, etc., corporate media, bitches about there's not enough money for Social Security benefits. What's going to happen to our benefits if we have a government shutdown? If they have to argue and prattle and fuck around and bicker about, about the federal budget. You know, that is just so immature. That is just so friggin' criminal to me. It really is. Okay, now for the, now for the, the answer. I will be posting the link. I will be posting the damn link 
on this uh, description, you guys. I'll be posting it. CBS News, for God's sake. Yes, Social Security and benefits may be indirectly affected because workers will be furloughed. That's another job that uh, government workers will be la- laid off. More, more laying off. More bullshit because of shutdown. But um, anyone, anyone gives another peep about Social Security benefits being stopped? I, I wish I could freaking prosecute, you know, for misinformation. I'm sick and tired of this. Social Security benefits will not be stopped in October. They will not be stopped. Um, they are not. They are not touched. You know, they don't have to be approved every year. They don't have to be approved every time we have a crisis like this. They are freaking protected. And if they're not, goddamn it! If there's been a change and we don't know about it, we need to know about it. Open the goddamn books and tell us about it. We have a right to know. This is our lives. Thank you. <laughs>